First, we wanted to just go through the logical overview. Jordy Giles is doing a presentation for his final exam in the Network and Telecommunications Engineering Technology course at Okanagan College. The second year student will shortly wrap up his diploma, and while he awaits his grades, he has one thing he doesn't have to worry about landing a job. He's already been hired by Mission Hill Winery. It takes a tremendous amount of exam pressure off to be going into final exams and know that, yeah, in 12 days I finish school and graduate and in 14 days I start working. We have industry banging on our doors for these guys. They almost have 100% of our graduates get jobs pretty well in the IT sector. We have all the major employers up and down the valley who have IT departments have employed our students. There's only one place that an N10 grad is needed in the world and that's everywhere. So anywhere where there's computers or telephones or any type of communication between people, using telecommunications or technology, uh, uh, that's where our students will eventually uh, fall into positions. The traffic that is coming directly for the call center comes across and is sent to a number from the ISDN simulator. The fact Giles has already secured employment is a good indication of the demand for high-tech workers. A recent Labor Outlook report estimated Canada will have a shortage of over 180,000 tech jobs in the next five years. Some of those jobs in BC are expected to be computer programmers and interactive media developers, software engineers, and support technicians. That's where Okanagan College comes in. They have three programs designed to educate the tech workers of tomorrow. They offer a four-year degree and two-year Diploma in Computer Information Systems, in addition to this course, the N10 Diploma. We are known uh, for doing all of the stuff that happens behind the wall, if you will. If you, if you look around the room here, you can see that there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the wall to make a computer system work. It's the way a lot of the uh, world's evolving now. You don't necessarily need a programmer for your flower shop business, but a business that doesn't have a digital presence is almost becoming just a death sentence. So. You need someone who can maintain your network. You're at a point where businesses have a network whether they really want one or not. Not all of the students are coming right out of high school. Not all of them are our people being retrained. We have a range of, of age which is absolutely spectacular. These students are learning network infrastructure, telecommunications and client server administration along with some business courses. There's a waiting list to get into the program and the candidates not only need decent math skills, it helps to have an interest in taking something apart and putting it back together again. It's a hands-on program. It's 50% of the work is done in labs like you see here. They're up in the ceiling, they're punching down, they're, they're working with wires, they're ensuring the equipment gets all set up and, uh, and configured. But they also have to know a lot of math because it is a technology versus a technician program. Some of the grads, especially the programmers, end up at Acromedia, an e-commerce and web design company in Kelowna. The company filled seven positions in the last couple of months alone, and they do hire from Okanagan College. We work really hard on it, getting our training and getting out there, um, doing projects with the universities, doing talks, going to job fairs, stuff like that. We, we, it hasn't been so bad that we haven't been able to find people, but it's fairly difficult. They all seem to get snapped up pretty quickly. 91% of our graduates have, uh, have got employment within the area that we trained them in. And about 87% of them say, that what we taught them is absolutely necessary for them to get the job. For more information on the N10 program, do a search on the college's website. We will have a closer look at the programmer's job on a future story on Go.